Hello everybody, this is Danny Avila and welcome to my interview with 1001 Tracklist. Let go. Well, I was definitely a little nervous before going on stage because it's been a very long time without playing shows. I think it was about seven or eight months and I don't know, I just remember the feeling before going on stage was uh, was amazing. I mean, I really miss playing shows, I miss the energy of the crowd. So, you know, being able to perform for, I don't know, I think the first show was like 10 to 15,000 people. Um, it was it was really really amazing. I mean, I, I miss it so much and just getting back the energy from the crowd was an amazing experience um, I wouldn't really pick one particular moment. I think the whole set from the beginning to the end was pretty amazing uh, and, and I enjoyed it so much and especially because um, we haven't played shows in, in such a long time So it would be hard for me to just pick one moment um, the whole show, the interaction with the crowd, the production and the energy of, of the crowd and, and everything was, was next level. Well, um, I try to adapt my sets a little bit depending on where I play. So in this particular case, I played a very, very hard set, but you guys are going to hear a lot of side trance, some trap stuff and, and I try to keep it I try to keep it very energetic for that particular case it really depends where I play so when I play in Europe I adapt if I play in America I adapt as well but um, for this one I just want to go with a bang you know just play full energy and just uh, destroy it pretty much quarantine uh, it was a mission it, it, it was definitely a mission two weeks locked in um, I have to say that the last couple of days were pretty horrible um, because you know you're in the same place for such a long time, but you know what kept me going was just um, you know the thought in my head of getting back to 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 playing shows, and for me that was the most important thing. You know, it just like it kept me alive. You know, when I was going through all these <laughs> thousand hours and and doing quarantine, and I was trying to do I don't know as many workouts as possible, and just working on music, working on the shows, and everything. Uh, you just try to keep it entertained, but um, the last couple of days I was like I need to get out of here for sure I mean being able to go back to clubs and and perform and over there it seems like everything is normal people are just living a normal life not even mass nothing it felt surreal especially because of what we are living right now uh, but I had an amazing time uh, three sold out shows out of four shows every show was amazing you know so much love from the fans and 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 they knew so many songs and they were singing along to a lot of them um, it was it was a great experience honestly i think it was one of the most fun tours i've done in a very very long time like probably in years and um yeah i wish i could do it again and again but um i have so much love for everyone that came down you know because the whole experience and and everyone that we met at the shows and, and everything was was amazing well that's um that's a pretty interesting topic because coming back from the tour and arriving in spain where I live from such high energy vibe and, and the amount of, of craziness that we lived over there and especially feeling that everything was back to normal and then going back here and everything was you know uh, stopped and no shows and all the clubs shut down and everything you know it definitely is not it's not the best thing ever right but um, you know we just uh, gotta be positive and if we think about what they do in certain countries in the world that can keep the you know the mood alive obviously seeing that they are doing shows they're doing festivals and they're doing clubs um, it can definitely push our emotions in a very good way you know yeah so pushing is a track uh, that I've been working on for a very long time actually for two years um, I made several versions I think the very first version I made was much more radio-ish, I wanted to go a little bit more mainstream but then I tried to bring it into the more clubby direction and I think I made like six or seven versions I sent it to, to Tiesto and uh, he picked that one I think it's a very dope version, I'm very happy about you know the, the response and, and also about the music video, I think it's really dope Well for now we're looking into new shows in Asia I'm not sure we can announce it yet but we're looking into uh, options for New Year's Eve for Christmas and we're working on several tours in in, in that market a uh, bunch of music I think this year I finished about 20 tracks so thank you quarantine for that um, so 
there's a lot of music lined up. I don't know exactly which song is gonna come out first, but we have six collaborations, um, song with Don Diablo, with Sam Feld, with uh, so many other guys, and uh, I'm just very excited. So a lot of new music, and hopefully, most likely shows coming soon. Hello everybody, this is Danny Avila, and I hope you guys enjoyed my set at SUO Festival in Taipei. Shout out 1001 Tracklist for helping us out, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Peace.